Take care of my baby. Take care of my baby now. <laughs> he ain't paying you no mind. No, he ain't. Sure ain't. <laughs> Welcome to a new weekly vlog. My name is Nezzy. It is Monday, August. What is today's date? Lord Jesus. August 8th. <clears throat> so I am on my way to pick up Diesel from the gym because he has a nail in his tire and there is a tire kingdom right by the gym so he's gonna drop it off and they said it's gonna take a while so i'm on my way to pick him up it's 9 44 and it's 90 degrees already 90. hot i'm not complaining i just want to throw it out there 90 degrees yeah so i'm working from home today I go back into the office tomorrow. I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm not. I hate waking up so early in the morning. Like I said in my past vlog, I have to get up a little earlier since we moved because it's a 20 minute more of a drive to get to the parking lot. It is what it is. I'm grateful I have a job. So, yeah. So from there, we're coming back home. I'm editing a vlog, the vlog before this one. I was trying to put it up last night, which was Sunday, but I was just so exhausted. I don't know if it's the heat or, you know, I had shingles. It's getting much better. I don't know if the medication is draining me. I don't know. But I fell asleep. I, I fell out last night. So this morning, when I signed on for work, I have my laptop as well next to my computer so that I can edit the vlog so I'm gonna edit the vlog I'm gonna chill at home today I think we have to go to the apartment today we didn't go this weekend I think Diesel wants to go today to remove the TV rack we have on the wall in the living room and some other shelving that we have installed as well I really don't want to go but I mean if he needs me to go I'm gonna go with him and then I'm gonna make dinner today. I didn't make dinner all weekend. So today I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make a turkey meatloaf and probably some potatoes, roasted potatoes. I think these are ones potato salad. And just get ready for work for tomorrow. That's it, that's all. <laughs> I just got here to pick up Diesel. And he looks like a little boy waiting for his mama. <laughs> for football practice. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> My poor baby. There's my papa. Hey. I got on this all black. Oh, I just threw anything on. This is an right. outfit from. I appreciate you. You're welcome, babe. This is an outfit from Fashion Nova that I got a couple of years ago when I lost all my weight. <laughs> and I. <laughs> well, you act like you didn't. You didn't think like, like you like you said how you see me. I can't see me. You can see me better. The same way. You had on your jeans oh uh, the other day. When you went out. You and uh, your homegirl went out. Yeah, I know. Excuse me, babe. Uh, I'm good. Sorry. Seatbelt safety first. Do I go out this way? Nothing. Oh, it says do I not enter. I gotta make a U turn. So what they say about your car, my poor baby's well, they car. They gotta fix. They gotta put that right here. Take the score. He said, "Is it, is it leaking?" I said, "No, thank God." That's why I said I wasn't gonna touch it until, yeah, you know, you get to you guys. You oh, guys look. handle it. This they did this to me before. Look, they're taking your car now. I know. They'll call you when it's ready. Yeah, put the one in. Hold on, I'm trying to get to this. Take care of my baby. Take care of my baby now. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't paying you no mind. I know, he ain't. Sure ain't. <laughs> They're probably busy. Yeah. They, they look so busy. So what are we having for breakfast? I gotta get back to work. I'm hungry. Yeah, man. I might have some cereal. And a little breakfast sandwich. Just because it's a little after 10. I know, my thing, my whole goal is to be like, I, I eat breakfast at 10. 
because that's one of my favorite meals. Some people don't eat breakfast, but I, 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 I love eat breakfast. It. Yeah, I do too. I love breakfast. Breakfast and dinner could be cool with me. I mean, lunch is an option, but you know, as long as I get those two things, I'm good. Or just have brunch, you know. I'm like hungry. Anything after 11, 12, whatever. Did you take the garbage out today? Yep. I didn't, I didn't see the, the, the... Yeah, it was empty. Yeah. No, I don't see the... Oh, you, pu you pulled it back in. Yeah, you know... Oh, because I was my, like, where's our garbage can? The only problem I had, because I put it out last night, and when I, you know, I came out this morning, it was, it was you know, they empty. The only problem is, like, with the driveway, with our vehicles. I know. See, I got to go on it. I have no choice but to go on the side of the grass, because... I know. They should have thought about it, like, average the fact, okay... Most people already has trucks. So let's widen the driveway, the driveway a little bit more. So if they want to take a, take the garbage out, they can go in between two cars or four cars or whatever. <laughs> but like the, the, the people in front of us, they're so nice. They have four cars in the driveway. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I don't know how they do it. Well, so, you, so basically, even though their house is bigger, the driveway is the same size, you think? Yeah, I think the driveway is the same size. Um, Although we want to start putting our, our cars inside the garage, like especially when there's bad weather, or at least one of the trucks in there. But we have a lot of decluttering to do inside the garage. Definitely, that's the next which, phase. That's the next, right. So we're gonna do that when the, when the weather gets cooler. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is, it's 5.33, I just got home from work. And Diesel and I are gonna go to the movie. So I'm trying to rush because I wanna get out of my work clothes, take a shower, and get comfortable and head out. But um, before I do that, well, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna pack some of our own snacks instead of buying snacks at the theater because I think it's too expensive. It's really, really expensive. So Diesel's over there chilling. Say hi, babe. No, you have to say hi because I'm not facing the camera that way. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, let me get myself ready and I'll come back. Um, we're gonna go see Nope. I convinced Daddy to come see Nope with me today. The tickets are only five dollars, so we're gonna take advantage of that. And it starts at six thirty, and I got a few minutes to get ready, eat a little something because I'm starving. All I had was a bowl of soup, a little cup of soup, I should say, from um, the cafeteria at work. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back. So I said I will tell you guys about the movie when I got back. Let me review the movie for you. There is no review. Why? Because we didn't get to see it. Why didn't we get to see it? Because when we got to the theater and went to purchase our tickets, they told us the theater was closed due to a water main break inside the theater. So I didn't get to see Nope. Nope, I didn't get to see Nope. So um, Diesel and I went back to his truck, took out the snacks that I packed in my bag and ate them in the truck and just sat there. And then he said, you wanna go to um, Wiregrass? I said, sure, because what's in Wiregrass? Sephora. So while in Sephora, Diesel had said to me before I went into Sephora, make sure you don't buy anything. I said, I don't need anything. I'm not going to buy anything. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so anyway, I went into Sephora. I just, I love to look in Sephora. I just go in there. I mean, I could really go in there and not buy anything. I just like looking at the stuff that's in there because when I watch YouTube hauls, when I watch YouTube Sephora hauls, I like to see the newest items that can't come out whether it's makeup skincare whatever hair care hair products anyway i was in there and this nice young lady beautiful young lady her name is lauren hi lauren if you're watching she's the director um at that sephora and she was so sweet i told her i had so many foundations that i really love but i wanted something different and i'm like am i crazy she was like no i totally understand because sometimes you just want change so i was at the charlotte tilbury section and i was looking at their mat i was looking at her mat 
foundations I always wanted to try her matte foundation so we could not get the color she Lauren had the palette with all the different shades that she thought would match me and either it was too orange or too red or grayish I looked washed out it was just not a match she even said <laughs> Charlotte what are you doing like yeah we couldn't find a foundation so far um, we couldn't find so we couldn't find a color match but then we kind of did but I didn't like the way it felt on my skin if it, it was too matte and I love matte but that foundation was too matte if that makes sense so I told her I said you know I always wanted to try the Giorgio Armani and she said that is a great foundation that that's one of the foundations she really loves she says but it's not matte I said it's cool you know I'm willing to try it actually I did try it a couple of years ago now I the color I chose looked gray on my face I never returned it I never asked anyone to help me this was like years ago I just kept it but it looked gray on me so I, I it was like a waste of money getting that one so anyway went to the Giorgio Armani section and she had a few colors in her, on her palette that she chose for me and finally the color she chose for me which looked really great she tested it on this side of my face and I know you really can't see it because of the lighting was 8.75 now you can build this up to medium coverage but I really really like the way this looks on my skin so thank you Lauren for helping me choose this color you know this is what the bottle looks like so I can't wait to try it I also got the Anastasia Pro brush I like this brush because I also seen a couple of influencers um, talk about this brush and even Lauren said it's a great brush for your found to apply your foundation or to actually to blend in your foundation it doesn't leave any streaks on your face and it's a dense brush so I can't wait to try this as well yeah so I was in there for about a good 45 minutes until diesel walked in <laughs> I told the girl at the register by the way the girl at the register was also such a sweetheart please go follow her she's another youtuber her name is the glam empress I will link her information down below she does a lot of Sephora hauls she does lifestyles beauty fashion so please go follow her please support and yeah she told me um I told her I was trying to pay before my husband showed up and soon enough he was right behind me but it's all good he supports me so so yeah guys that was our evening we just got home about maybe half hour ago it is now 8 41 i'm about to get undressed watch some youtube because i work tomorrow i'm going to the office tomorrow yeah so i guess nope isn't meant to be watched hey guys happy thursday we are on our way to uptown cheapskate not cheap Cheapskate. Cheap, cheap, cheapskate. How do you, how do you call a cheapskate? A cheapskate. Uptown cheesecake. No. Nope. It's like you're saying cheesecake. That's what I'm saying. You know, your girls. Cheap steak. How do you say like of somebody that's cheap? A cheapskate? Cheapskate. That. Yeah. Uptown cheapskate. Girl, cheesecake. I'm trying to add cheesecake in there. Oh, cheese anyway, steak. that's what we're on our way. It is 449. Um, it is a place where we're gonna try to bring all of our clothes that we're trying to give away or trying to sell. Cause I have a lot of new clothes. It's like another Play-Doh's closet. So Nancy's gonna meet us there. <laughs> I was just telling these, I gotta do something with this hair because I'm tired of it. It's like the days that I wash it and I style it, it looks nice. But like today I'm not in the mood. So it's just there. It's, he says, don't you got any products to frizz it up? It's frizzy already. It's frizzy. And I'm not gonna straighten my hair because it's so hot out here. My hair will look like, I'll look like Maud. <laughs> She's trying to get her hairstyle like she was telling me. So you're going through the bad hair stage. That's what you- I'm going through an me, ugly right? stage. Ugly stage, whatever. Yeah, cause I'm trying to let it grow. It's gonna be like tapered and then all this part is gonna be more, but I don't know guys, I don't know. I might cut it again it looks short because it's curly but when i blow it out it's 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 pretty long it's i'm not moored <laughs> i mean yeah I, I had a trim but yeah i'm getting kind of tired of it i don't know i want something new 
I'm not gonna dye it because no. People pay to get this hair color. Hey guys, good morning, happy Saturday. It is um <clears throat> it is 9.52 in the morning and we are listening to Pastor Mike and I'm about to make Diesel some breakfast because he's hungry. But I wanted to tell you guys last night we put our alarm system on. We thought it was gonna be hard because we got, of course, um, if you guys follow us, we have the ring on the doorbell and as a doorbell and um, Diesel put a ring camera in the front, in front of the garage and one in the back of the yard. Plus we also got the alarm system which is right here and you know we have the keypad one in front of the door i'll show you guys and then one in our bedroom but what we also have are the sensors so these are wanted to put a sensor in on each window plus the door so this is the keypad we tested out last night it works pretty good and then you know the sensors on are, are, are like this so when the door opens or windows open or glass is broken well, when the door opens, it just does a little soft bell type thing. I think he disarmed the alarm. I just want to show you guys. So, and I don't know if you can hear, but I don't know if you heard that. But, um, yeah, but we're excited and we're happy that, you know, so if Diesel's out, out of town and I'm home alone, I can you know, arm the alarm while I'm asleep. God forbid anything happens. Ring the alarm, you know, so. Yeah, so I'm happy we did that. We did that last night, then we went out to dinner. We got home, we are so exhausted. I think, you know, the moving process is still catching up with us. So, you know, we, we're tired, but I'm um, so excuse. I, I just brushed my teeth. I haven't even washed my face or anything because like I said, these was hungry. So today we are gonna run some errands. We're gonna go to Lowe's and go back to the other apartment because um, he removed the racks off the wall so he wants to fill the holes back up plaster them or whatever you call that and then paint so that again the landlord won't say oh well we're deducting this from your security deposit because no she won't give us that security deposit back in full hey guys so we are at the old apartment it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and i am hot you know the electricity is off the water is supposed to be off but it's not so diesel went downstairs to get um some scissors because we will because we are um filling up some holes that the tv rack was on i'm going to show you guys but i wanted to give you a quick empty apartment tour where we used to live so let me turn the camera around here's you come up when you come into the apartment and then when you come in here this is the living space we still have this sofa here, which I think we're going to donate to um, Salvation Army. Just get a tax write-off. We had two windows, a fireplace. That's where the TV was at. Um, our, If you remember, I used to sit there. That was my working station. And that's um, this was the little balcony thing we had. It was um, a storage unit. Very small. And yeah, so this is... Let me maybe open this blind so you can see a little better. Oh, am I suffocating? There we go. So, yeah. So, these are the holes. Diesel's going to patch up in a few minutes. And then we also had a shelf here when we... Uh, it was a shelf that held the um, cable box. So, we're going to do that. So, let me just come around this way. So, this was our bedroom right here. Oh my God, you can tell the rug. <laughs> well, this is wear and tear, so, I mean, you already know. We had a window. This is where the other shelf was at. So we have to fill these holes up as well. And then this was Diesel's walk-in closet. I was gonna turn on the light, we have no light. <laughs> Pretty big. This was our bathroom, our master bathroom. See, one sink. And um, a garden tub. But now we have two things. <laughs> so, yeah. We come back out here. This was the kitchen. So, um, this is where the air conditioning unit thing is. Our stove. Our little pantry. Which is very... It's not very small, but I mean, compared to what we have now, it's a little bigger. 
cabinets old fashioned can stand it an old refrigerator I cleaned it as best as I could um, I wasn't gonna go crazy because I know she's gonna replace this refrigerator she promised us in front of her daughter and in front of her workers and in front of Diesel that she was gonna get us she wanted to get us a new fridge we never used this um, dishwasher never used it um, and she was gonna replace this as well and the stove she never did so anyway microwave this was a washer and dryer she even said she was gonna replace this well, I'm not sure about this, but this was the wash and dryer. I felt that it didn't really wash our clothes good, but we did what we had to do. Then when you walk back this way, this was the second bathroom. So this was for guests, and this was the little sneaker room right here. And then this door right here connects to the bathroom that I just showed you. So that's that and that was this was the other closet that I shared with him so it was pretty big he had all his um, um shorts here and I had um, my sports stuff right here and then I don't know if you remember but this was all well I don't I'm not sure if we ever showed you but this was where all his racks of jerseys and sports stuff was at and then his sneakers were against this wall so yeah we left the apartment nice and clean as best as we could I disinfected it I cleaned all the bathrooms swept I swept I mopped I cleaned and disinfected everything here everything hey guys we took a break it's 3 47 and we're eating some McDonald's fries not the healthiest choice but I'm starting my mouth <laughs> all I had today was a bowl of Rice Krispies this morning which was about maybe 10 30 that's it and some water we just came from BJ's I bought some meat some meats and stuff that we needed but we're sitting here in the parking lot of McDonald's and there's this older man selling M&M's hot m and M's. I can't even say it and m <laughs> you can't say <laughs> I can't say cheap cheapskate you can't say cheapskate I can't say M&M's <laughs> M&M's you selling M and M's and it's like ninety some degrees. <laughs> it's gonna be pudding. <laughs> it's gonna be pudding. He's back and forth. The cars are right here, and he's going back and forth trying to sell his M and M's. It's so hot. It's ninety degrees outside. It's gonna be pudding by the time they, he hands it to him. <laughs> ah, <laughs> poor thing. Where you go? He's tired. <laughs> anyway, I told Diesel. Make sure my fries are piping hot. Piping hot. Tastes good. But, um, we're gonna go back home, put this stuff up. We're supposed to go to Ikea later. Are we still going? I think they close at 9, so we'll wait till later on in the evening. Hopefully there's less traffic. We didn't get to patch the holes in the wall because are we crooked? I think we're crooked. Crooked. I don't know. Um, because why didn't we patch the holes? Oh, he needed some scissors to cut the patch. The mesh. Uh. The mesh or the patch that came with the kit that we bought at those to put on the you know to patch the holes up and to fill the holes up with back it what is it specular Spe basically speckle. i just made an excuse to say you know something i'm doing this monday that's mm -hmm. why i'm doing it anyway so monday's another day excuse me monday's a work day do it mm -hmm. monday you know we've been going hard every weekend and i'm i'm, I'm burnt out yeah so you right there? We've been swimming all summer. All the time. I mean, we went swimming, but I mean... When? We went swimming this year. I went swimming. I went to Nancy's pool. You, I mean, I didn't really go swimming. We went twice this year, remember? To Nancy's pool? I have a vlog. Yeah. You hungry there, boy? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey guys, so we are home. We never went to Ikea because we're tired. It is 7.24 and guess what? Football is back! <laughs> so it's just preseason, so these games aren't like real, but it's football. So the Steelers are playing against who, babe? The Seahawks. So that was his dad's favorite team. So that's hit Diesel's second favorite team. But uh, again, these games don't count, but we are so happy football has started. There were three games today, and I just finished watching the Bills and the Colts. I don't even know who won, because I got up to make hot chocolate because I'm game. cold. Who? Tied game. Oh, it, it was tied. Oh, okay. So, yeah, guys. So, we're just chilling at home. I just made me some hot chocolate, and I put some whipped cream in it, and I put a little bit of pumpkin spice powder on there. I forgot I had that from like two years ago, but it's not expired. And Diesel was eating some pie. We had dinner a little earlier today because, again, we're tired. So we ate, we're chilling, and yeah, that's going to be it. Maybe tomorrow we'll go to Ikea. Tomorrow he's going to a sneaker, sneaker con? Sneaker something. I, no? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's going, we went a couple of months ago, so he's going to Kissimmee to a sneaker event, and I'm going to go get waxed and wash my car because my car is filthy. And then, um, oh look, there's some people walking back there on a the trail, babe. It's like a little trail back there. As long as that dog don't do no doodle behind our, our backyard. We have to put a fence up, but we're waiting on the other neighbors to decide what kind of fence we're getting and so forth. So anyway, so yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go get a wax early and then I'm going to wash my car and I don't know what else I'm going to do. Maybe I'll walk around the outlets or something, depending on the weather. If it's too hot, mm -mm, I'll be back home. Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday. It is... Um, Almost 1 o'clock, it's 12.45, and I got my wax done already, and I didn't wash my car because it poured, so I let Mother Nature do its thing on my car, and it looks really nice. It looks nice and clean, and I said I wanted some me time, but that changed. I haven't eaten anything, by the way, so I just got, somebody got this for me. Surprise! <laughs> Guess where I'm at? Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. But in any event, I'm at the sneaker show with Diesel. Mm-hmm. We are here. Kissimmee, Florida. Kissimmee. It's, it's... Okay. But anyway, I'm here with Diesel. So last night, his friend was supposed to, um, who invited him, was supposed to be here with him. He canceled out on him, so I felt bad. And I didn't want him coming here by himself. I know he's a big boy, but I felt bad. So I said, you know what, I'll go with you. Gave me a chance to put my new sneakers on, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. But first things first, I'm going to eat because this is my first meal of the day. And like I said, it's almost 1 o'clock. I'm starving. And this started at 12, but Diesel bought VIP ticket. He had bought a VIP ticket for himself to um, come by 11 o'clock. Before it started, yeah. But, you know, because plans change. I needed my wax. Things happen. Things happen. So now I'm going to eat. We prayed already for our food. He got me a cheesesteak sandwich. Oh, he put... Right. It looks good. I'm hungry. Anything will look good to me right now, but this is what it looks like. It's from Wawa's. Mm. This is the place we came to last time. It's called the Sneakers Travelers. I'll try to vlog mm -hmm. inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> You've been a little noisy, but. We're going to finish eating and we'll be back because it's really hot. We have the windows down and the camera's about to overheat, so. 
We're back. We just came out of Sneaker Travelers event and it's pretty nice. I've, I vlogged in there and um, it's 2.45. We just took a break but it started pouring. We met Conceited from Wildin' Out. Diesel took a picture with him. Go post it. And we met another uh, a well-known YouTuber. 2J Kicks, well-known uh, guy in the sneaker, big big in the sneaker industry, and on YouTube, humble guy. So conceited, he was, he was nice. Yeah, guy. conceited was very nice. Very I nice. thought he was gonna be conceited, but he wasn't. No, very course. nice guy. So 
Yeah, um, Diesel X. I, I, I don't like to bother people. That's just me. And I don't think it's bothering them, but I just don't. It's I'm, all about your approach, though. Like I say, you don't go in, you know, like, oh, hey, <laughs> I want a picture of you, you know. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, he was really, really nice. And he says, yeah, sure. Took the picture. And he's like, thank you. Appreciate thank you. Appreciate it. I told my watch him because I love Wildin' Out. I love yeah. Wildin' Out. So I told my watch funny. He's one of the funniest guys. Yeah. Him, Very Carl, nice Carlos, guy. Uh, uh, Chico Bean. G Chico Bean and, and um, DC. DC, DC Young, Unplug, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you watch well enough, you know who Conceited is. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we bought some stuff. I got these. Um, got them. They're for, they're called Diggables. This gentleman in there. Charms on you. Yeah. On he makes them by hand, he said. Yeah. So, I got these. They're called, they're, I got these. It says, got them. You put them on your shoestring. So I got so many pink sneakers. And because I bought this, he gave me a pair of free laces. And they're like leather. Like leather. Like they feel leather sure. leather type. They're pink. And then I got Diesel. This is heavy. This is a charm, but it's only one charm. And it's um, Jordan's too. number 23. There's two. Huh? There's two. There's two in there? Yeah. What do you mean there's two in there? Should be in the back. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that. I yeah, thought it was one. That's why it's heavy. Oh, because I was going to say for... Thirty dollars, shoot! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's why I said get them. Oh, okay. I thought it was one, so it's two. <laughs> this is what it looks like. You oh, and it's Tarasky crystals. You put on your sneakers, yeah, yeah. Nice. Tarasky crystal. These are nice. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Well, we're going back in. I'm gonna see what else he has. He was really nice. He was like, you want to see that? Yeah, the rose gold one. Yeah, he was real nice. He yeah. was really nice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then Diesel picked out, um. Some burgundy wine color laces. Yeah. Like you said, I go perfect with my um almond ears. Yeah. Almond ear ones. Oh, I didn't know there were two of these. Oh, awesome. And that's the the oh wow, it says a hundred a pair? A hundred dollars a pair? He charges us thirty dollars. I don't know. They're heavy and they're handmade. But so that's the only thing we got. Um, I did see a pair of sneakers that I wanted, that I like, that I don't need, but I really like them. And Diesel bought me another pair of sneakers. He bought us a matching pair of sneakers that are coming. So stay tuned for a sneaker review. review. <laughs> but um, yeah, these ones I'll show you. Hopefully they'll come. Well, what happened was the gentleman we got this from he had the sneakers and I saw them and then we were walking around then when we came back to him I'm like do you like those he was like yeah those are nice so I says uh yeah so <laughs> no, well when you when you when you get them when well you yeah when I get them I'll show you guys and um so the gentleman had them but not in my size he had an eight and a half in, no he had an eight in men no I'm sorry he had an eight and a half in woman I'm a nine and a half in woman in sneakers and a nine and a half in men and I'm like damn so he says I know somebody else here has a pair in your size I walked the whole um, area again where all, they were, where all the vendors were at and I looked but I didn't find them someone else had them but in a nine and men's that's too big for me so I went on go and found them for the same price he was selling them for so I just ordered them on go they're nice they're nice. I like them. I like them a lot. I like the color waves. Mm -hmm. It's his fault. Yep. It's his fault. So, yeah, we're just chilling here because it's raining. And, I mean, it's not raining heavy now, but... We're going to go back in. We're going to stay for another two hours and then we're going to head back home. So... Can y'all see me? Look, they can see me better here. She can you see me better here? By the way, I got that new Giorgio Armani foundation. Not sure if you can see, but I really like it. I like it a lot. So, close up. Up close and personal. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot, so I have that on today. I wanted to do my face because I haven't taken a picture for IG in a while. So, it's raining though, and I want to take a picture with my outfit. I love my sneaker. They're called the Visionaires, right? Yeah. I, I want to I wanna I say, say on, on your vlog, thank you again for getting me my uh, Shaq uh, Orlando Magic jersey. That's right. Thank you. 
Mm. You're welcome. I got him that Orlando Magic um, jersey. Yep. So I said, yo, what perfect time to wear it? We're going to Orlando. <laughs> yeah. Because I was going to wear something else. I'm like, nah, I'm going to wear this. Yeah. Hey, guys. I am back home. We are back home. It is 6.17. I am making dinner. Diesel wanted some pork chops, so that's what I'm making. And I'm making salmon, which is in the oven. I'm making that salmon bowl thing with the um, yum yum sauce and the avocado and the seaweed. That's what I'm going to have. He's going to have pork chop and some roasted potatoes. Well, I don't know if they're roasted, but it's from the Little Potato Company. This is the um, garlic parsley. So I'm making him, I'm making diesel this with his pork chops. And I got to look for a vegetable. And that's it, but I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. I will start a new one tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy this weekly's vlog. And yeah, guys, please. Sorry about that. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. And we will see you next week or tomorrow starting a new vlog. So until then, be blessed. Have a great, safe week. Have a great upcoming week. And until then, adios. Babe.